Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 218 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, July 20th, 2024 and I'm back from a two week hiatus. I was those of you that have been here regular, I was up in Canada, Manitoba, Canada, visiting family for the past two weeks. I got home yesterday. I flew out on Thursday and thankfully I missed all the nightmare travel problems with the computer issues that hit a lot of airlines on Friday. So I'm super thankful I came home on the Thursday. I just, I lucked out there. Thank goodness. We stayed in, we stayed near the airport on Thursday night and came home on Friday just because it's, I didn't get in until almost 11 at night. Supposed to be at 9.30. Oh, yeah, that's a whole different story. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm back. I had a fantastic time visiting with family, uh, family and friends. Really nice time. And I got a boatload of knitting done. Oh, and see, I'm out of practice with this. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming by to see what my channel is all about. I talk a lot about almost all knitting and other random things, some crochet and other crafting shenanigans as I get to them. I'm so happy to have you here if you're a new viewer. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back for another week to see what I've been up to, what kind of shenanigans I've been partaking in. And I'm also so happy to have you here with me week after week. I appreciate you all so much. If you have not yet subscribed, that would be fantastic. I'm getting closer to a thousand subscribers. I think the, when I checked this morning, I was at 900. So I'm getting so close. I only need a hundred more. So if there's a hundred of you watching this, <laughs> which is probably not, <laughs> but if you haven't, have not yet subscribed, it'd be fantastic if you did. So anyway, without further ado, how much sock knitting did I do on my two week vacation to Manitoba? You saw last, no, two weeks ago before I, well, two Saturdays, Saturdays ago, I posted a video with all the yarn I was taking with me to Manitoba for knitting. And here's what I finished. The stack of socks. So I finished three pair of socks and I'm getting close to halfway done the fourth pair so let's I have to put them I just had them this way to show you so there will be some awkward time when I'm going to be trying to wrestle them on to my sock blockers just because they 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 look prettier on those for showing them off so I can see if I can do this without hitting myself or the camera with with the um with this <laughs> lock blockers oh my goodness i can say last night when i got home i was, was so nice to sleep in my own bed with my own pillow i missed my bed and i missed my own pillow i'm sorry i'm not going to travel cross country to other countries with a pillow my own pillow but i am happy to have it back so Here's the first pair of socks that I finished while I was in Manitoba and traveling. These are the Advent yarn from Freckled Whimsy from 2023. I already made one pair of socks or a pair of the two at a time toe up sort of shorty socks. I made one pair where I started at the purple at the toe. So there was the dark purple, then the light, then all the way down to where this pale purple is at the very top of the other pair. So I'm able to get with the 100 gram of um, the 100, 100 gram skein of yarn and then using bare for the 
toes, heels, and a little pop of color at the cuff. I'm able, and using the full 24 stripes, I'm able to get two full pair of socks out of the 100 gram Advent skein. And they, they look similar, but the color sequence will be in the opposite direction. So as far as I'm concerned, they look like two completely different socks. I don't think I have, no, those are last year's. I'm just looking at a pair of them sitting beside me, but those are the ones from last year, the 2022. But just to give you an example, these are the two different socks from last year. So they look different. This one has the dark purple at the cuff. This one has the dark purple at the toe. So they look like two completely different socks, which I think is fantastic. So 100 gram skein of yarn, I get two pair of sort of shorty socks out of that. And that makes my little old heart happy. So that's the first pair of socks that I finished while traveling. So the Freckled Whimsy Advent from 2023 finished pair of socks then I the second pair are mismatch using my opal advent from 2023 as well I'm trying to get through my 2023 advent yarn <laughs> slowly but surely so let's get this pair wrestled on to the sock blockers I'd have to get myself a pair a larger sock blocker maybe so and again these ones are made with I bought an opal advent calendar in 2023 and with that there were 24 20 gram skeins of opal yarn and so with this I have two socks they're mismatch this one of them was the yarn from day three and one from day four and I used the same yarn it's an opal yarn for the toes the heels and then I use the main color until I completely run out and then wherever that happens to be I switch back to the gray and finish it off so you can see on this one there's more of the leg in gray and this one has a smaller section of the leg is done in gray it's just they're not both exactly the 20 grams or the exact same length of yarn in that little skein so my goal is and I know this drives some of you a little bit bonkers I apologize but I love it at the end I will have 24 sort of shorty socks and they will all be mismatch they will <clears throat> excuse me they will all have the same toes same cuffs or heels and the same cuffs so they will look they will have that little bit in common with each other but beyond that they will all look a little bit different chances are I probably wouldn't wear these two together maybe who knows I'd probably wear another one that had some greens in it if I were to wear this one I'd wear another one that had some greens in it and this one I would wear that has purples or this bright this yellowy color just so they look a little bit similar but they will not be identical and I am 100% fine with that. It doesn't bother me at all. So this is the second pair I finished, or the second two socks that I finished while on vacation. Get those off there. And then the third pair are a pair of scrappy, incredibly loud, bright socks. <laughs> These ones are kind of eye searing. Just getting, a, I forgot to put stitch marker on there. I have to finish putting the ends in and clean up the inside of the socks. These are 
or this yarn is from one of the months I had with the Row One Mini subscription. And with this pair, or with with that particular month, there were four skeins of yarn, or four little 20 gram balls of yarn in that particular, no, the 10 gram, sorry. There were four 10 gram, nope, 20 gram, nope, 10 gram. <laughs> Pick a number, any number, Karen. <sighs> there were four 10 gram, yeah, because there's 10 altogether for 100 grams. Oh my gosh. So there were four little skeins of yarn in one of the subscriptions that were incredibly bright. They were these bright and gorgeous neon colors. This one's not quite as neon-y, but these three are eye-searing bright. And I didn't want those, these particular colors to go into either my mitered squares cardigan or my jelly roll cardigan. I just thought it's, that's just going to be too much of a bright pop of color. So I thought I'm going to take those four little skeins along with the bare toes, heel, and cuff, a little bit of cuff, and I'm going to make a pair of two at a time toe up sort of shorty socks. And I will use those four little balls of yarn. And I love these socks. They are so loud. <laughs> Other than this little bit of blue in the middle, which in this skein looked a little bit brighter than it does in between these two ice searing colors. I thought this they'll make a perfect pair of socks. My train of thought got away with me there. What was I saying? I'm out of practice, guys. So this was the third pair of socks I made while I was away. I actually finished these up to the point where I had one round and the bind off left to do when I was on my second flight on the way home on Thursday. I did not want to do the bind off and tucking in tails and having like needles everywhere and my tapestry needle out while in an airplane. So I thought I just left it. I bound this off and finished it on Friday morning. So, third pair of socks. These guys are, these guys are loud and bright and I love them. Absolutely love them. So, third pair of socks that I finished while I was on, on my vacation. So I'm so happy I got three pair completely done while I was away. And one last pair where I got a good chunk finished. I started these before I left my mom's. Or did, no, did I start them at my sister's? Either way, at my mom's. I got a start on these guys, and this is another mismatch or individual mismatch sort of shorty socks. So again, the toes are done in that opal gray color. And I finished the, the main part of the foot and now I'm on to the gusset increasing for both of the socks. I think I only have three or four, four rounds, no, three rounds done on the gusset increasing so I need to I need 20 rounds on the gusset increasing then I'm ready for the heel so I got a goodly bit of work done on these while I was away or mostly on my way back I did up until this little cat marker I had done before I left my sister's place and then I had the neon ones I had part I I was somewhere along the leg. I think I had that the bright orange purple section. I was about a third of the way through that. And so I finished that while knitting airports and airplane knitting. And then I switched over and started where the marker is here. 
and knit the rest of that while airplane and air airplane and airport knitting so hopefully by the time you see me next this pair will be done they should be and I'll probably have more socks on the go by then so that was my vacation knitting it was fun my mom was teasing me one morning we had woke up and I got up did my did got my stuff done in the bathroom and then came out to sit at the dining room table and then my mom went and she did her thing and she said she came out of the bathroom it's not even seven in the morning she said oh, I'm sitting at the dining room table and I'm already knitting socks <laughs> she thinks I might have a problem I don't have a problem <laughs> but I did we had a lot of our time while I was home was spent just relaxing and visiting so there was a lot of time for knitting and I got a lot done so so that's that's good it was fun when I was sitting in the airport in Winnipeg because it's an international flight because I flew Winnipeg Chicago and then into Pennsylvania there was you had to be for an international flight we had to be there three hours before our flight so there was lots of time just sitting once you cleared through security customs and immigration there was a quite a bit of time so I'm sitting there knitting there's this woman sitting across the the row across from me I packed up my stuff because I was getting ready to pack up my stuff because I wanted to go and have a restroom break and go and get a snack at the the um, little store inside the like by the um, airport gate and so she she just happened that she said asked if I, if I had a pattern for the socks I was knitting and so we got to talking and she also was she was reading a book when we first when she first sat down but she was also working on a pair of socks she had a pair of socks then in her bag that she was working on knitting so she's she turned out to be my airport BFF <laughs> so I had passed a lot of time oops sirens After the peace and quiet out at my mom's place out in the boonies, <laughs> I'm getting used to the city noises or the loud noises compared to at her place. There were, there were no, no noises at her place. Anywho, so I, we, we spent an hour or more just yakking about knitting and yarn and patterns and all that stuff. So that was a lot of fun. So I um, so met a new friend at the airport. Then when I was in the airport in Chicago, there was another woman there. She was uh, crocheting a dishcloth, so we yacked a little bit too. So it was, a, it was, yeah. You haul out your knitting. You've got people to talk to. Huh, helicopter. Don't hear those too often here. Uh, got the attention span of a gnat today, apparently. <laughs> Anywho, so that was. It was a really nice time away. Saw all kinds of friends, all kinds of family, got a lot of visiting done, just a lot of quality time with a lot of a lot of people I haven't seen since last year. So it was it was really nice. Um, really, really nice. And again, I'm so thankful I wasn't traveling on Friday when there was all those airport cancellations and delays because of um, because of that computer issue. And I would have probably would have been affected to some degree because I was flying with United and they were one of the ones that was affected by that. So awful thankful I flew on Thursday. Nice fluke that I didn't get caught up in that. So my plans for this week are to keep working on the mismatched socks. So day five and six from the Opal Advent calendar. I hope to get those done. And then I'll have to get another pair of vanilla socks going for more travel knitting. On Thursday, this week on Thursday coming up, we are leaving for day, uh, one day longer than a week to London, England. So I'm super excited about that. 
So part of this week I'm going to be tied up with a lot of stuff, just getting things organized and packed and ready to go for that. Um, so I will need to have knitting with me, mostly just for airplane and airport knitting because I, it's a, it'll be a long day. It, it, there'll be long days of traveling, the, the Thursday we leave and the Friday coming back. So I don't know if I will get something filmed to post next Saturday the 27th I might have a chance to film something that I can post then I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll have time to get that done so if you don't see anything next week all is well I'm just not at home to film something I am planning on taking little video snippets here and there along the time during my time when I'm in London and I will post like a little extra video on my channel after I get back that will just show you all of that and I'll show you what I'm what it, what I managed to knit while I was away I might try to if I have time I might see if I can get a video filmed of what I'm taking with me to London but I'm not sure we shall see I'll see if I have time so anyway on that note gorgeous weather out motorcycles are out on a saturday afternoon in droves and they're awfully noisy i can't do anything about it so anyway i'm gonna quit rambling i will let you go missed you guys over the last two weeks and i'll miss you again next week then once we get into august i'll be back to my normal schedule as normal as i am <laughs> i'm not normal anyway i'm gonna quit nattering if you're still here listening to me, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Love you all, and I will see you guys again in two weeks. Bye, everyone.